looked like the knee was feeling pretty good. How, how are you feeling physically and, and uh, put that all together tonight? Yeah, feeling pretty good. Um, thanks for the uh, training staff and everything they do, did to uh, get me back on my feet so quickly. And I'm just excited to be back out there. Evan, can you describe how bad that hurt? We don't usually – you look like you were in a ton of pain when that happened. I mean, like, the look on your face, like you were in agony. What was it like? Yeah, it was not, not fun. You know, it was one of the worst feelings I've ever had in my life, uh, pain-wise. And then all of a sudden it kind of went numb on me. So I figured that wasn't, wasn't too uh, good of a thing to happen. Um, but uh, like I said, I'm thankful I was able to get back on my feet so quickly. It didn't look like you were hampered at all tonight, but – do you have any limitations with your knee? Are there things you're trying to avoid doing? Not really, um, especially, you know, once game time comes around, just kind of play the game. And um, I trust uh, the, the knee and, and where it's at. So, uh, you know, just kind of ready to let it go. You're, you're probably trying to avoid fouling it off there again, though, aren't you? Yeah, in the, uh, I think, second at bat, I came a little close. Came a little close than I would have liked to. So, uh, glad I uh, missed it, fortunately. Talked about feeling more comfortable at the plate. I would, I would think a six RBI night has got to help that. Uh, feeling pretty good tonight. For sure, um, especially you know some of those hits were with two strikes and uh, you know feeling confident and uh, comfortable and um, just trying to keep that same mentality uh, each and every at bat. It looks like you're spoiling some of the maybe the put away pitches with two strikes, fouling them off, trying to reset it. I mean, how big is that? You know, maybe two weeks ago you're swinging and missing at those, and now you're spoiling them and trying to get another pitch there. For sure, it's big. Uh, you know, it gives them gives them a chance to, to make a mistake, and uh, fortunately, I was able to get one tonight, uh, a couple of them, and uh, put a good swing on it. So it's definitely big, and just battling and and uh, trying to battle for my guys and, and uh, do what I can to help the ball club win. The Lyles pitch didn't look, or the Homer pitch didn't look like that much of a mistake. It was pretty far inside. I mean, is that just reaction on that? I we, we were kind of talking about how you kept it fair, even. Yeah, it's, I haven't seen it, so I have no idea where exactly it was. Um, obviously, I felt like it was a little in, um, but just trying to stay middle of the field and, and uh, trust my, my preparation and stay inside the ball, and uh, fortunately, I was able to get enough uh, barrel to it. All right, anything else for Evan? Evan, how have you maintained your sanity during stretches where uh, there's been struggles early in the year, and maybe some of the numbers indicate that you're a little unlucky and maybe your luck's going to turn at some point? How do you kind of work through all that? For sure. Uh, for me, you know, you guys know I'm, I'm a big man of faith. Um, that's that's where my you know joy comes from and, and really realizing that. And uh, I was talking to some guys uh, earlier in the week and, and just realizing that's where my identity really comes from. Um, you know, not what happens on the good nights and the bad nights, um, but my identity in Christ and, and finding the joy in that. Um, so for me, that's that's the biggest thing. And, and uh, being able to have fun, you know, when the times aren't, you know, necessarily uh, going too well. Um, it's, it's definitely a little more fun when they are, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a challenge. I think it's helped me grow a lot uh, as a man of faith, but just as a man in general. And uh, you, get, you get six RBIs in a night, but Kyle gets on base five times and almost has, you know, I mean, it, it just seems like every night he does something you kind of shake your head at. Huh. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he, he's unbelievable. Um, I think, you know, you guys seen that for a long time. I've seen it for a, a very long time as well. Um, he's, he's fun to suit up next to, and he's going to give you everything he's got every single night, and uh, that's a guy you love to play with.